Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirana here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to make a green goddess tortellini salad. And I love the salad for two major reasons. The first one is it's versatile and I love a recipe that you can change up and make your own. I'm going to add in zucchini and spinach but you could do any sort of veggies that you have on hand. Use whatever is in season. It will be delicious. Second of all, it's very versatile from a serving perspective. It makes a great potluck dish. So if you're going to a picnic and you have to bring a dish to pass, this is a great one because it's a little bit different than what people are used to seeing, but not so out there that nobody wants to eat it. It can also be just a nice side salad to something off the grill. So just have it in your fridge, serve it up during the week to make dinner quick and easy, or it's substantial enough that it could just be eaten as a meal itself, as either lunch or maybe a light dinner. So you can have it made ahead. It's a nice, cool, easy meal. So you don't have to start up the oven or even start up the grill on a hot summer day. Come join me. Let's get started. I'm going to start by cooking my tortellini. Just following the package directions, I'm using a dried tortellini, but you could also use fresh. And while the tortellini is cooking, I'm going to mix up my green goddess dressing. So I'm going to use my food processor. So I'll start by adding in one clove of garlic, just a small clove, you don't need a lot. And then lots of herbs. I have parsley and dill, some basil, I have some chives, but then to up the onion flavor a little bit, I have some scallions I'm gonna throw in here as well. So the scallions, I'm just gonna chop off the roots, chop off sort of the ends of the greens that might be a little unsavory, chop it up into smaller pieces and throw it in. And then same with the basil, I'm just pulling off the leaves, getting this in. And here you can really use whatever herbs you have. If you want to use pretty much all parsley and just maybe a little bit of basil, you know, if you don't have dill and everything else, just use what you have, what's growing in your yard, what you can easily get at the grocery store. Just pick and choose. It'll be delicious no matter what the combination of herbs are. And then I'm just going to pull off these parsley leaves, just sort of avoiding the thick stems. You had cilantro, cilantro would be good in here. I mean, it's called green goddess dressing and it's the herbs that make it green. So add what you have and use lots of them. So once that is ground up fairly fine, I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. It's really to taste, I'd probably say a half a teaspoon of salt, you know, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna grind that up just a little bit more. Okay. 
And then I'm just adding in some plain Greek yogurt. And I have one open, I used a little bit of this for something else earlier, so it's just a partial container. And then one full container. and blend that in. We'll stop and scrape the edges. And let's just taste it. Okay, that's yummy. So I'm just gonna set this aside while I work on my veggies. I'm simply going to dice up a zucchini and a yellow squash into bite-sized pieces. We're not gonna cook this, it's going to be raw. So you do wanna make sure your squash are fairly small and not big and seedy. And again, you can use whatever veggies you have on hand I'm using squash and spinach, but really almost any seasonal veggie is going to be delicious. So right now we're making sort of an early summer version. You could even make a fall version with some squash, although I would probably roast that first. You could do cauliflower and broccoli, which would be good. I might blanch them or at least the broccoli a little bit, but even raw, they'd still be okay. Now to these veggies, I'm just going to add some salt. And a little pepper. And some lemon juice. So this lemon, I cut a wedge out of it earlier, but it'll still be okay. Actually, we're just seasoning up the veggies a little bit before we add them to the pasta and the sauce. Now I'm also going to add some spinach. Now the original recipe that I sort of found that um, inspired me to make this called for arugula, which I love arugula. However, my farmer's market, well neither my farmer's market nor my grocery store had baby arugula. So I went with spinach. Just giving it a little bit of a chop even though I really don't need to because these leaves are pretty small. Pull out a couple of these stems. Toss it 
toss this in here as well. With a little more lemon juice. A little more salt. And a little more pepper. And let this sit while we finish prepping the tortellini. It is just about done cooking, so I will drain it and rinse it with cold water. And then we'll meet back here. So the tortellini is cooked and rinsed in cold water. Now I'm just going to add some of this green goddess dressing to it. So I don't know how much dressing I want to add. I'm just trying to put enough into it so that it feels and looks quite well dressed, if you will. I'm going to start with that. I can always add a little bit more. The one thing I realized that I forgot is when I added the lemon, I actually wanted to add a little bit of oil to this as well. So it's almost like a vinaigrette, nothing too crazy, just a little bit. So we have lemon, oil, salt, and pepper, sort of a dressing number one to the veggies. Now, if you're just serving this right up on the table, you can put it on a platter and sort of keep them separate so people can mix and match and have a little bit more pasta or more veggies. I say go for the easy route and mix it all together ahead of time. And now you have those tortellinis with that herby delicious dressing, the veggies that have just a little bit of a lemon tang, all sort of blending together, making a delicious, yummy salad. Perfect for a potluck, lunch, dinner, side dish, all of the above. So the salad is complete. Look at that. I topped it with a little bit of chopped dill and it is yummy. And I know I mentioned earlier that the two best things about this recipe is for one, the versatility to use whatever vegetables you have on hand or whatever is in season. Second, the versatility in serving and the fact that it makes a great dish to pass. It makes a good side dish. It makes a great standalone meal because it's hearty and filling and delicious. But the third thing that I have to mention is start to finish. I think this salad took me all of 20 minutes. It probably took me longer to get the water up to a boil for the tortellini than it did for the rest of it. So if you're looking for a quick and easy and delicious meal, this is definitely something you should consider trying. I highly recommend it. Thanks for joining me. Again, my name is Tracy Martirana and I use my knowledge of nutrition, herbs, Ayurveda, yoga, and meditation to bring you information and inspiration to help you live a healthy, happy, and balanced life. Thanks so much and have a great day.